Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, typical Tyrell viewers. Anywhere you are in the world, big up to you. The breaking news is that Oshin is back in the building. <laughs> I'm just kidding, people. I miss you guys. But on a serious note, guys, we are coming with a big breaking news to ever everybody this morning this afternoon this night to you guys wherever you are in the world greetings now guys it's a sad news because unfortunately shelly and fraser price has decided to move on from coach ronaldo walcott who helped her to advance in her career people as you know this coach was really a key instrument in helping her to move from 1070 to 1060. Now, this is my thought on it. And this is why I'm baffled. This is why I'm like, what? Because at the end of the day, she announced in um, at Paris 2024 that she will be continuing her 2025 season. So, you know, we know that she's played with a knee injury right now. And that is very sad because we all want Shelly to win. Shelly, if you're listening to this, baby girl, we love you. We're rooting for you. But, you know, honestly, Ronaldo Walcott was re- do- doing such a great job with her. And I believe that together they were such a great team. But times change, season change, and people decide to move on. Now, the big question is, and this is why I'm baffled, because <laughs> I think, I try to wonder, why did Shelly and Fraser Price move on from Ronald Walcott? Now, this is where the big man come in. I'm wanting to put an answer in the air and give a round of applause to Tivika Tyrell. The youth are doing things, I'm proud of you, Tyrell. But Tyrell, feed the people them who are hungry, bad. Wagwan with Shelly and Fraser Price and Ronaldo Walcott. Sir, how are you? <laughs> Uh, blessings, blessings, my people, and you know, welcome back to Typical Tyrell TV. I don't know before we get into anything, we just want to big up Oshi because it's yeah. always <laughs> great to have her on the channel, and she's always been scintillating on the channel. And I know you guys love her, so we just yes, want to know. People, me loving it too. But Typical Tyrell, we're hungry. Talk to me, baby boy. Yes, so. <laughs> This news about Shelly and parting ways with Renaldo Walcott is mm. very alarming, to be honest. Right? Honestly, I, it is. Yeah, I didn't expect this separation, honestly, right? Because they both have achieved a lot of things together, and right. the relationship so far, based on what <laughs> we are seeing on the outside, mm-hmm. it looks amazing. So, this separation is definitely one that is shocking the chakra right now, and really want to get to the bottom of this right of course but it just leaves me thinking and i I don't know i asked you the question but i'm just thinking people honestly like shelly was doing such a great job with you know ronaldo walcott they went to paris 2024 together but you know we all know what happened there we all know that you know she didn't perform and uh, honestly they she worked hard but you know he also worked hard too because he's the coach right Terrell? yeah and um, yeah one point to note yeah she with john from the semi-final right yeah. because of of not being able to warm up warm up sorry yeah. my viewers and stuff as we all know and she didn't get to and hence she didn't go to the final because of that right so yeah but I, f- I really feel like that really you know broke his heart as a coach and i'm thinking was well, like you know maybe maybe things started declining from there you know because you know he 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 was looking for accolades to his name as well because that's how as a coach you make your money but you know keeping up with sports max and reading everything that they have to say allegedly you know she was reaching out to him sending messages calling and he wasn't responding via whatsapp via whatsapp right so you know I, i'm just thinking <clears throat> could could that have you know what have happened in paris 2024 contributed to that and you know maybe she wasn't getting that attention because of the fact that you know allegedly based on sports max he wasn't re- like responding to her maybe she felt like she was being ignored 
maybe she wanted to have a, a conversation with him on something important to really, you know, ash out or, or say what was on her mind. <clears throat> Sorry. Say how she was feeling. But back to you, Tyrell. I want you to answer. I know you always have the, the information. Why do you feel like, you know, the, there's something wrong or, or, or what was going on in their relationship as a coach and as a all right, um, Oshin, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Oshin. You made a valid point, right? Uh, you're basically stating what we mm-hmm. have gotten from Sports Max, right? But I'm going to do a bit of reflection here and look right. to look back in Shelly's career and see where I can find a reason why she moved from no, the elite performance track club. So when Shelly and Fraser Price left, the, Roll back the curtains of memory <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when Shelly and Fraser Price yeah. left the MVP, one of the reasons or one mm-hmm. of the things that we heard in the streets is the fact that Elaine was there and mm-hmm. I believe that she thought that she was not getting the amount of the amount of mm-hmm. attention that she needs in order to grow in her career right, right. because of elaine thompson here so mm-hmm. looking at the situation no at the real um the elite performance track club mm-hmm. we see that she- alien is also there and i i believe <laughs> or i think that she believes that really renaldo walcott betrayed her right by bringing in elaine no, in the club well. Honestly, well, I look like Ilian and Rondog Shelly, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, easy, you know. I don't understand. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, I respect both ladies. No, no, no doubt about that. No shades, you know, throwing. But honestly, Shelly decided she wanted something, you know, more intimate in, 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 as it relates to her training, more focused. That's what I mean, guys. And she moved from MVP, you know. Elaine was there. Elaine is a star in her own lane. She's doing great things as well. But, you know, them say two bull can rain a one pin. So, she noticing that. She decides, say, all right, I'm going to go over to the elite. And then, all of a sudden, I mean, I know Elaine realized your Walcott is good. And he helped Shelly, so maybe he can help me too. But at the end of the day, I mean, it just feel like or it just seems like, you know, Elaine is always just trying to be in the same space as, as Shelly. Even though it is said that they will be trained at, you know, two different intervals or whatever. Two different locations. Or two different yeah. locations. It just feels like, you know, maybe Shelly would feel betrayed for real. And she will feel like, you know, she won't get the attention she need once Elaine is in the picture. Yeah, and understandable, understandable, but you cannot blame um Renan Walcott, right? He's trying to build something on the Ely performance Jacob, yeah, right? That's true. Shell and Fraser Price is definitely one of the founding members of that club. However, mm-hmm. you have to understand say say they, there's but life in, in there's the life end. after Shelley at yeah. the club. So bringing in Elaine is also helping to build the club and I don't see anything wrong with that, right? Yeah. So in essence, Tyrell, you're saying this is like, this is this is one of the things or, or one of the big things I think, you know, the relationship is declining. Yes, I'm definitely so, Oshin. Definitely yeah. so. But what will be next for Shelly and Fraser Price or who will be next? What do you predict in her future or who do you know, you know, do you know of, of, of any information where she's heading towards or, you know, talk to us typical Tyrell. Uh, yes, Oshin, that's a very good question, you know, very good question. I know that <laughs> the viewers would want to hear who will be coaching right. Shelly and Fraser Price now to go on at the 2025 Tokyo World Championship. So, exactly. according to Sportsmax, Andre Wellington, right? Mm-hmm. He used to coach in Chromi, a oh, former the, KC the student. KC guy, yeah. yeah. He, they are saying that he will be taking over from Renaldo Walcott and to coach Shelly and Fraser Price. But Tyrell, like, do you see a good future with with you know Wellington and Fraser Price? Like, do you do you do you think you will help her in in advancing and and becoming better, especially with that knee injury? Well. 
we just have to take the wait and see approach right um definitely um i don't think he has a lot of accolades or i don't think he has a great track record of mm-hmm. bringing up bringing up great stars yes yeah. um definitely but we have to take the wait and see approach right shelly and fraser Price is at the twilight of her career so i'm not expecting to be honest i'm not expecting like anything out of this world like amazing or anything too exceptional mm-hmm. i'm just have to just be positive and take the wait and see approach quite so but you know honestly i i am still looking for something exceptional from shelly and i i know she's baffling a lot i know she's been through a lot especially because of the Paris 2024 season she was looking to close out you know olympics with a great finish and it is quite you know heart rendering to see what happened happened to her you know but nonetheless they say when i did not dash away so we're still rooting for shelly we're still rooting for all the jamaican ladies out there putting out their best big up yourself to elaine but people may have a question for oh no i'm a want to participate in this because remember you're a part of the typical Tyrell tv community your comments your advices whatever you have to say matters what do you think will happen in Shelly's career breaking from one run out of Walcott and moving on allegedly to Andre Wellington? What do you see or what do you predict for Shelly's future? People now profiting on their own way. <laughs> and I beg, only the prophet sign on bad, but come on, be honest, be positive, and you know. Yeah, you know, just put whatever your your thoughts are on the matter out there. But guys, we love you guys and thank you for tuning in. Remember to share, subscribe, hit the like button, do everything for promote typical Tyrell TV like a candle we are oh. out. <laughs>